What's up guys? It's your girl Stacy Cake, your host for What's Hot, and today I am back with a very special video. I am proud to announce that What's Hot is doing its first collab with Night Food Ice Cream. So I'm going to be vlogging and doing a review at the end of this video, um, tasting the ice cream, and I have a very special guest today. Y'all, if y'all follow me on my personal Instagram at Stacy Cake, you probably saw him, but I don't be posting him because y'all be in my business don't do that but today um i'll let y'all in a little bit what's up y'all he's, here. Up, he's <laughs> here to review the night food ice cream with me so we're going to be going to harrison teeter and we're going to be picking up the ice cream and then later we're going to be tasting it so i'm going to pick a flavor he's going to pick a flavor hopefully it's not trash hopefully and that's bougie over there but yes we're gonna <laughs> pick a flavor and then yeah we're gonna let y'all know what we think because we always get an ice cream smoothies all that good stuff so and cheesecake yeah <laughs> nobody eats that <laughs> but anyway yeah so i will catch you guys back when we get to harris and teeter and we'll let you know what flavors we get it's your girl Stacy Kick, your host for What's Hot, and Come and put we will not on today. It. Put your name on it. Come and put your name Stacey, on it. Stacy, love you, baby. What's hot? Thank you. Put your name on it. Come and put your Come name on it. Come on, get burnt. Get burnt. Get burnt. Get burnt. We are at Harris Teeter now. About to get our night food ice cream, masking up. So I hope the audio isn't too bad, but I'm gonna try to speak loud without drawing attention. So they can't hear you. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Harris Teeter. This is my first time at Harris Teeter. So in addition to the ice cream, he's making dinner tonight. So we're gonna get stuff for quesadillas and for hot wings and french fries. Um, that wasn't hard to deal, but french fries. That's cool, I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, I think this is a dance for a number. I don't know. This is our first time in Harris Teeter, so yeah, kind of yeah. interesting to see what they got. Hopefully the price is right. So yeah, we'll let you know what they got. Yep, so. yep, yep. So we are sanitized. We got our cart wiped down. We got our hand sanitizer. Now we are gonna be, I guess, you could get the ice cream first, since this is the point of the video. I don't get the ice cream. Right. Oh, yeah. Good thinking. Shorty thing. Good thinking. I see, it's some see benefit to having thing. him here. <laughs> nothing, so, nothing. So okay. Ooh, pizza. Pizza, pizza. Okay, we are finally here at the ice cream section. So this is all of the options that they have right here in this little row right here. Sorry. And it's tight over here, so I'm going to pick my flavor, which is going to be Cookies and Dreams. Easy pick. I already knew before I came I was getting Cookies and Dreams. So, now he can pick it if he wants something nasty, as usual. So watch he get the same one I get, y'all. Milk and cookie dough. Show it, show it, show it. 
milk and cookie dough is his flavor. So who's going to have the best kind? Me or him? He's very competitive, so now I'm making the competition. You know, he don't. So comment below what you think the better flavor is going to be. Is it going to be Team Stacy Cake with the Cookies and Dreams or Team Ozzy with the Milk and Cookie Dough? It's going to be comment below who you think going to have the best ice cream. I'm going Cookies and Dreams. You're, you're biased anyway. So Look, <laughs> milk and cookie dough. You're biased anyway. You don't like anything else outside of cookie. Oh, so, oh, one more thing. So, yeah, it's actually, the pints are pretty affordable. They are $4.99 each. So, the pints that we picked up are $4.99 each, guys, in case you didn't notice. So, when we're going to pay for everything, and then we're going to... I guess do this after we have dinner. I get full fast, y'all, so I don't know if I should wait. Five bites, that's all, <laughs> that's all it takes. <laughs> if Five. I'm gonna have room for dessert, but I'm gonna really try to do this and after like dinner. It. So, the fries. Of See? I didn't forget. Yes. No, I thought about it as you were saying it. Wrong direction, right, right idea. <laughs> We have some, but what, what? Don't tell me that. I'm that you're about. Why would I give you? That's for the hot wings that they have from the pizza. That's why I said don't throw that away. Why would I give you that? That's obviously not enough for everyone to use. I don't mind how that works. See, this is him being bougie, y'all. You know how the when you order pizza and they give no, you. No, 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 no. Let me finish. You know how you order pizza and they and with the wings and they give you the cup of blue cheese. We had leftover wings from yesterday. My parents had leftover wings. I was putting the food away and I just put the cup, the open cup of the leftover mm -hmm. blue cheese in the refrigerator with the wings. We have to size that. Open. So let me tell you how many But the lid was still on it. No, no, no. Let me emphasize So how many y'all put when you open stuff and there's no way to really cover the ceiling especially you know it's not sealed tight or it spills everywhere but it didn't How spill did, but my point is but it hasn't spilled open stuff back in the refrigerator like that if it's not if it, done, it just looks messy it looks messy and you're you're wasting stuff it's, it's still good blue cheese and it's came with the order anyway why would i give him that little cup of blue cheese for we make a whole batch of different wings could this be the bougie the bougie stuff that i be talking about and and now he, he's too right. he's too good to use leftover blue cheese no, so he's he's too that. good to, to use leftover blue cheese but it's not his blue cheese anyway so i don't know why he's worried about it but anyway but yeah so again i'll check back in with you guys when we are ready to review the ice cream um yeah and in the meantime subscribe click the subscribe subscribe button comment who you think ice cream is going to be better definitely mine but you know, so you're going to stop being biased right that's the only way definitely you're going mine. To be better because all you do is take one flavor and just keep it you mm -mm. don't do anything else Definitely mine is going to be better. So. Bias. Yeah. I'm already calling it bias. I should mute this part of the video. <laughs> Don't be biased. Welcome. We are back. And we are ready to try Night Foods Nighttime Ice Cream. So both of the flavors, um, the cookies and dream and milk and cookie dough. Milk and cookie dough are both uh, the same amount of calories. So for the whole pint is 360 calories and a serving size is a half a cup and a, a serving size is 90 calories. So it's actually not that bad for ice cream. It's really not. It's definitely pretty healthy for the moon. <laughs> healthy for ice cream <laughs> <laughs> okay so just the unpackaging i just took off the lid and it has this cute little lid on top paper lid on top and it says oh this is the directions of how you can enjoy so it says let's soften on the counter turn on the tv 
grab a spoon, do your thing. And then number five, sweet dreams. And what did yours say? Mine just says, win a free pint. Post a pic of your pint on Facebook or Instagram and hashtag it, my night food. Winners mm -hmm. chosen on daily. Sorry. I'm <laughs> sure too long. Um, as you can see, it's right here. They're my lion. So we got two different tops. What is, yeah. But mine is Crave Monster approved, so it's already better. Well, mine can win something, so you can eat this. Let it's me see. It's already what's, better. It's not. So we're going to taste test these. I want to taste mine. This is called, like I said, this is called, this is like night food, right? Yeah, this night is the brain. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to taste test mine, and then <clears throat> he's going to taste test his, and then we're going to switch. But I'm pretty sure mine's bad. But we're going to review each. We're going to review how ours tastes individually. And then when we switch, we're going to review each she's, other. She's pretty biased, y'all. So I don't know if she can he's, admit it. Because he knows this is going to be better. That's all. All she eats is cookie dough. So, I mean, Oreo. Look, look. <laughs> Oreo. No, mine's is, is pretty. It softened up pretty quickly. Because we really didn't have it out that long. No, because we put it in the freezer what, about an hour ago. Yeah. Pretty. Usually when you first get ice cream, it's not as hard as when you take a few good scoops and then put it back in the freezer. It'll get hard. It'll get hard. Okay. I got a good spoon. Yours look like it got a lot of bits in it. Mine's just look like weak. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't this say that. This joint look weak. <laughs> Yours just looks overpowering. Okay. Glossy chicle chip. So that's mine. I'm trying to get good Look, pieces. He can't I'm, even I'm get nothing to some pieces. show. I'm trying to get some pieces for y'all. Um, it's hard to see, but you'll see that little <laughs> brown stuff. <laughs> it's in there. Okay. All right. One, two, three. I just don't know. Oh, man. I just love them. I feel like I have had cookies and cream, but this is called cookies and dreams. But I have had some of the ice cream where it's a little richer, but I feel like this is a good mellow. And maybe that explains the calorie count. Because even though it looks like a lot of chocolate, I feel like they're smaller bits. Mm -hmm. Mine's, I'm going to keep it 100, y'all. It's a lot of vanilla ice cream in this. But. There is some cookie dough you're tasting here. Those little brown bits you see are some real cookie dough. So it's pretty well balanced, I say. Yeah. <laughs> Yours just look like it's overpowering. I know overpowering. I mean, because I feel like usually when I get like this type of ice cream, the chocolate is richer or it's like more sticky or like more powerful actually. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like the chocolate is that booming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you ready to swap? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's some cookie dough and it's stuff in here. I, I wouldn't say it's plain vanilla but it's some stuff in here. You can taste cookie dough. Um, yeah. Oh, let's do some more drink some water. Uh, I didn't know we were going to do it like that. I didn't <laughs> either. It hit me. <laughs> Not bad. It's pretty light. That's what I said. Like, I think it's definitely good, like, for the late night snacks. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. That's right, nighttime ice cream. So, like, definitely Brandon is on point. Because it's like, when you have a sweet tooth, I think it's definitely good for, like, that late night. Like, it's not too much where you feel, like, s super crappy for eating it late. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Is it like a guilty pleasure? Right. Right. Makes sense. That make you not Don't feel that... too guilty. Right. <laughs> 
Cause like I said, I tasted, I was like, you can taste the Oreo, but it's like, it's not as, you know, thick crunch like it That's is. That's what I it's said, usually like taste. when you buy it, usually the chocolate, you can really taste it, but I don't think it's as bad for this one. Which could be a good thing. Especially like, I'm not super heavy on chocolate. Like I get tired of eating chocolate. Cookies. I am, I love chocolate. Chocolate, chip, cookies, all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's smooth. I feel like the cookie dough is like the aftertaste. Mm, like you taste that vanilla the whole time and then At the you, get, end. you get that nice little cookie bite too. At the end, yeah. Because it's like, because I said yours, yours look like, you know, it's real thin pieces. Mine look like just straight, like they're little blocks. And, yeah. You know, blocks of like cookie chunks. Dough, chunks of cookie dough. And like I said, it's, it's some chocolate chip in it because I saw a couple. So. So I think. Even though mine's is clearly the winner. Um, I, we never discussed the, <laughs> the winner. You just jumped to conclusions right after. You just you didn't say nothing. The the I think we can agree that both of the toppings are kind of light in it, and both of the ice creams. Like mine is mm -hmm. more like Oreo rich, but the Oreos aren't very overpowering. If that makes sense, they aren't overpowering. And his is like it's more. Like you, it's well balanced. Like I said, it, you get that vanilla ice cream, but if you want a little, little extra, a little extra, pick me up a little sugar. Yeah, and a crunch. People and a like crunch. crunch. Yeah, yeah, and the crunch and the ice cream. So it's a little balanced to me. So, I think mine's is better though, because mine's you get a little more in it. That's like a little lighter, I guess. Mine's has the enjoyable parts more flowing through the ice cream a little more. So mine's it looks like vanilla, but once you get in it, it's all mixing it. All you see pieces. how you see how he gotta gas it down. But I think they're both good. But I would buy for the simple fact alone for the calories. Like it's so easy with sweets to really like overdo it or to have like a 600 calorie dessert mm -hmm. and i think this is something that you could for people that love eating like whole things by themselves you could eat the whole thing and it's literally like probably less mm -hmm. than a meal right of what I, you have for your lunch especially your like you know ice creams like ben and jerry's they got the big cups it was gonna be like 500 600 calories just to eat the whole thing yeah this is pretty re this is pretty reasonable to you know get the most out of your ice cream and not feel as bad yeah when you eat it, so. definitely a great midnight snack so i think night food is definitely on point with their marketing mm -hmm. as far as like calling it night food and nighttime ice cream because it's definitely like no one wants to do overkill when they have that late night sweet tooth for craving mm -hmm. so i feel like yeah, i could definitely get with it and again um you guys know we went to harris and teeter harris teeters excuse me to purchase our night food ice cream um, and you can go to their website and sign up to get your free pint of night food ice cream. And you can also visit their site to do find a store near you that sells night food ice cream. So like, yeah, it's very helpful. They make it very easy for you to locate where you can get your pint of your own and try different flavors because they had other flavors besides these two mm -hmm. so pick one that you want to try and please 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 let me know what you guys think make sure you subscribe to my channel and <laughs> follow what's hot on the gram let me know if you enjoy these type of videos i know i normally do entertainment videos and vlogs have kind of been entertain mostly entertainment related they are entertainment yeah so it's something this is something new for me but if you guys enjoyed it make sure you subscribe comment like all that good stuff and tell me who you think won because i definitely think cookies and dreams and i was a dream i definitely think milk and cookies you know especially if y'all are cookies cookies and milk fans hey this is the best of both worlds putting one so oh, no this is a dream
Christmas. But comment below who who you think had the best ice cream based on our reactions. And if you try it, definitely let us know which flavor you like best. And thanks again, Night Food, for reaching out to me for this collaboration. If you're interested in working with me for What's Hot or for my private platform, I will have the my email address in the description box below. And you can shoot me an email. And I'm always down to get down with the biz, for real. So, <laughs> he's a hater. So, um, yeah, just make sure you subscribe, comment, follow. And see you guys next time.